welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but there's been so many things happening that I haven't had the chance to sit down and film a proper video for you for the longest. I think it's been a month. Anyway, I just want to thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. Um, as the title already suggests, this is a product review. This is a demo. This is a test. Basically, everybody that I, I follow on Instagram has been raving about this Nivea shaving balm for men that you can use as a primer. Now, I'm always the last person to jump on a bandwagon, I'll tell you that now. Um, so I've waited, I've just been looking at people going like, oh my god, it's great for dry skin, it gives you a glowy look. So I'm wearing it today um, for this look. I've only done my makeup for about five minutes. But the aim of this video is basically to use the product, go out about my business in town. So I'm going to go shopping. I need some new makeup storage spaces. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do all of that. And then I'm going to kind of like have my vlogging camera with me so that you can see how my makeup behaves during the day. I will not be blotting my face. I will not be touching it up with any powder. I'm just going to leave it on as it is so that I can go out and give you at the end of this video a great review. If you live in Sweden, you can get this from Oleans. Um, any oleos basically you go to the men's section and you can pick it up I picked up the 0% alcohol one which is like a no burning one which is great because you don't want your face to burn um, and it's for sensitive skin um, I have applied it um, today the bottle looks like this I'm just gonna open it so you can have a look it's a glass bottle and you've got like how many millimeters 100 milliliters so you can travel is a travel size so you can travel with this um, if you're going abroad now I'm a little bit skeptical in terms of like actually putting something that's meant to soothe shaving all over my face um, but I have very dry skin um, the only part I'm oily is my t-zone so since I have dry skin I think I can give it a go and just see what it's all about I've tried it once before when I was in Gothenburg and I had a makeup class there for the Cultural Academy of um, Gothenburg and I went to Orleans, I was just going to buy some flat shoes and I saw it and I bought it and I used it the next morning. I applied it just like a regular primer so I used my moisturizer, I put it on as a primer. I did my makeup and I went to teach my class and within an hour I started it started sweating and even though it was cold like it's been cold in Sweden even though it's summer it, I really started sweating quite badly on my face and it just felt like a little bit stiff on my face as well and my friend who I was with in Gothenburg said to me normally you never look shiny but today you look hella shiny and I was like damn it it's not working but because it was on a stressful situation and I was teaching I was in front of on a stage I was demonstrating I was running around maybe that could have had something to do with why it made me so oily so quick so today I thought why not let's just try it again it's not a very stressful day for me I'm doing my makeup I'm recording my videos for the next couple of weeks I'm going out shopping so whatever I'll just use it I'll take my vlog camera and I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like like on me. The price reference on this, it costs the same amount as like my regular primers so I don't really um, know why I would use this unless it shows me today that it is absolutely a magic product. I don't see any reason why I would use this as a primer instead of my high-end primers and my regular primers because it's the same price. Now you all know the primer that I use every single day is my Lancome um, Port Eraser. The Lancome Port Eraser. I love this. Like I use it every day and I've been using it for the last four months daily pretty much every time I wear makeup and it's still halfway left or oh, three quarters left three quarters yeah three quarters left so it's still full and I really like the finish it gives me because it actually covers all my pores and it looks really nice so you can see what the product looks like um, it's a glass bottle and when you apply it to the back of your hand this is what the consistency is so it tends to smear out and it feels cool when you first apply it so here I'm just applying the um, Nivea aftershave balm as a primer letting it dry before I went in and applied my foundation um, it felt very sticky to begin with um, but my foundation adhered quite well to it by the time I was done there will be a video showing you how I achieved the entire look that I wear in this video today so stay tuned on my channel 
I've been out window shopping for some time now. Walking around Sadamon, just doing some window shopping. And so far, so good, but I'm just in my first hour of wearing this primer. Um, once things get hot and heavy, whilst I'm picking out some items, then we'll see how it works. But so far, so good. So the sun finally peaked out and I am at Colors of Africa just looking at a little bit of accessories. I want you guys to have a look. It's based in Southern Ireland. Um, quick update. This is what my makeup looks like right now. I feel a little bit sweaty around the nose area and my forehead but we'll see how it fares in a couple more hours Bye. I'm now in Muji and you can pretty much see that I am looking so Oh look, it's making me sweat a lot and I don't like it. Um, I feel very uneasy. It's like my face is just sliding off my face. So it actually wasn't the educational classes that were making me sweat. Um, but look at that. You can see every single thing. Yeah, it's not looking too good right now. So I literally just had to sit down for a little bit and just catch my breath and make sure that the sweat can go off a little bit. Um, I just did my shopping, I got my Muji drawers and stuff to reorganize at home. But I feel I look sweaty. Like, and when you sweat with this primer, it sticks on top of your face, making you look more shiny than ever. Um, I don't know, I just need some air. And like I said, it's not even sunny. Look, it's grey. It's not even sunny, so I don't see any reason why it should be acting up. But it's literally rubbing up. So far, not so good. <laughs> okay, so I'm now in the park and I just had to sit down for a little bit and just catch my breath. I was supposed to go clothes shopping and uh, once I got into H&M and Zara in T Central, and I just realized that I don't even want to risk putting trying on clothes because it's most likely just going to rub my makeup off because at that point I was really sweaty in the face. So anything that rubs against my skin is just going to take off a layer of makeup. So I didn't want to risk that. So um, I'm heading back home um, to organize um, my recording station. So okay guys, I'm back home, it's 6 p.m. You followed me out throughout my day. So I put on the foundation. So I put on the primer at 9 a.m. and I left the house. No way, I put on the primer at 8 a.m. I left the house at 9 and I'm now back at 5 uh, doing some tidying up and now it's 6 p.m. exactly to the dot and this is what I look like right now I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see exactly how bad it is look I, I look so shiny it feels like there's a film on top of my face so what I'm gonna do is I need to <laughs> freshen up my face before I even finish up this video because this is not gonna work this, this, is, this is not gonna work at all. So, that's much better. I feel a little bit more alive, a little bit fresher, and a little bit more ready to tackle the rest of this review. I think one of the biggest problems with this is because there is a lot of glycerin in the product, which is the second most um, percentage in this bottle, glycerin is an ingredient that actually sucks moisture back in. So it means that if there's any moisture in the air, it's gonna be sucked into your face. It holds on to those um, particles. So I think that is a bad, bad, bad combination if you've got oily skin. Um, if you've got oily skin to begin with, but even if you have dry skin, it's gonna make you look a very, very dewy. So unless you're gonna do a makeup look and stay in the house, I it's not something I would say it's great. Um, but I know this product works for a lot of people. There's been there are tons of reviews where it works for people But I just don't see it being of use to me. Yes, it's cheap, but so are other good primers um, If the, if there is any chance I would use this as a primer it would be in the winter time in Sweden where I have no risk of overheating or sweating or anything like that, but then again 
in the even in the winter time it can be very damp and very humid in the air so this product will probably just suck all the moisture from the air and pop it on my face so I end up looking like a glazed donut um, so uh, my final verdict on this product is it doesn't work for me and I have dry skin and an oily t-zone the areas that I have been oily it makes it even more oily the areas that I'm dry it manages to make that those areas oily as well so I'm gonna stick to my regular primers those are the primers from Inglot from Lancome um, from Mac those are the primers that I tend to use so I'm not gonna be using this product again so I would if I had to rate it out of a 10 I would probably give it a 2 because yeah it works if you're taking lovely pictures and staying in the house but I just don't see it being helpful in my daily life and I'm a very like busy person so I like to run around I do a lot of things I need my primer to keep me matte to keep me good to keep my pores concealed but maybe for, for photo shoots, I might use it if I want to achieve that dewy, dewy, dewy look. I would say invest in primers for your skin type. Do not buy primers just because they're being hyped up on Instagram or hyped up on YouTube. Um, do a trial and error basis and check out what works for you. Don't just like pick up something because somebody says it's great because it might be great for their skin but it might not be great for your skin. As I've demonstrated today, um, when I saw it I just wanted to give it a demo, a trial for you guys so that if you have skin type that's similar to mine you may not want to waste money buying it because even if it's five dollars is still money that you could spend on something else that was gonna work for you long term so that's all folks that's all for me today and I thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and thumbs up this video and if you have friends who are curious about the Nivea balm shaving balm do share this video with them and also have a great day Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos. If by any chance you have tried the Nivea shaving balm and it works for you, please let me know in the comments box because maybe there's a way that it's being used that kind of works. So let me know your tips and tricks in the comments box if you've used it and I'd be so happy to just hear from you guys. Take care and ta-da! Bye!